Big thank you for this amazing fan art. I absolutely love them. Definitely go check them out. I'll leave the links in the description. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you two different ways to insert 3D eyes into the foam head base, as well as adding a nose. Let's start with the eyes. So I've already placed the eyes in roughly where I want and drawn around them for where they sit on the foam head base. This just helps a lot, so I recommend doing it. So for both of the eyes, you're going to rough up the edges. This helps it stick to the foam head base and keeps it in place. So I kind of create a checkered kind of pattern. Please be so careful, it's really sharp and just take your time. Obviously I speed it up here, but I went a lot slower, trust me. <laughs> Let's start on the first method. So for this method you have the eyes already in place and it's a little bit tricky because you want the glue to be right in the middle of this eye blank you have. So try not to put too much glue because uh, you don't want it seeping out the back or the front of the eye. And then you're just going to push the foam down so it really sticks itself onto it. For the second method, you're adding the glue around the base before you put the eye in. Now this is where that line at the beginning comes in handy, so you know exactly where to not have the glue go, as well as where the glue should go, if that makes sense. You're going to work pretty quick, which is why I prefer the other method, just because the glue dries really quickly. So get it in place as fast as you can. And then hold it down. And ta-da! The eyes are in! Yay! Okay, now let's work on the nose. So this is a feline. Um, I've already created the pattern because I did half of the head already and with the nose I did originally have it one whole side piece um, as you can see here I've actually cut into it because I want the seam to add that uh, kind of nose um, separation because it's not all one nose if that makes sense however it's all one colour so I needed it to be separated <laughs> I'm using a minky uh, you can use fleece, felt, whatever you would like. It's totally up to you. I just like Minky because it's fluffy and kind of goes with it. Um, make sure you keep an eye on the direction of the fur even on Minky because, well, you're going to need to. <laughs> I have it facing towards me just because I know this every time I do it. So if I ever forget which direction I put it in, I'll always remember because I always have it towards me. <laughs> Then we're going to uh, draw around the pattern. I use white chalk because it's a black backing. If it was a coloured backing, you could use a pen or a different colour. As you can see here, I've put it back because we are going to be adding extra along the outer edge of the nose. This just makes it easier when gluing the nose down whilst keeping it squishy. So the edge that is the outer edge of the nose, I add about a quarter to half an, an inch kind of seam allowance you would call it. So as you can see here, I'm adding basically flaps it looks like, um, you know when you create cardboard cutouts. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, and now we're just going to cut it out. Once you have cut your piece out, just kind of put it back like a puzzle piece and we're going to be sewing it together. 
So the first thing I do is sew up the top of the nose. It doesn't really matter which pieces you sew together because it's all going to get sewn together anyway. Um, but make sure you use extra strong thread so it's quite thick so you're going to need a good needle for this. Um, and the stitch that I am using is a blanket stitch I believe it's called but I'll show you in a second. So when you're sewing you want the right sides together, the right sides are the pieces you want to see on the outside. Um, this is so when you flip it round the seam is hidden on the underneath part. So for a blanket stitch you basically put the needle through, wrap the string around and then pull it. This creates a knot with every stitch which is why I love using this stitch, it really reinforces it. The nose is officially sewn together and I've turned it the right way around again so the seam is underneath and as you can see it creates that V that I was looking for which is why I split the pattern which helps make it look better. So now we're going to be gluing it together. So first thing I like to do is pin the nose down um, at all of the points uh, just so I know how I want it to sit before I glue it. 
Okay, so now I'm gluing the edges, only the edges, not the inside because I want it to be squishy, which is why we added the extra length at the side so we can glue it down whilst keeping the nose extra squishy. So I add a bit of glue, spread it down and then use my fingers to push the fabric on and basically just move the glue around and hold it down. And then I just do this throughout the whole of the nose. And voila, the nose is on and if you push in the middle it's really soft because there's no hard glue on it but around the edge is completely put down so the head is ready to be fed. I'm so excited and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!